Bud grafting of fruit trees and other plants in the late summer is the most professional way of changing or adding new varieties. This method is so widely used because it's extremely simple, quickly performed and enormously effective. Gardeners skilled in bud grafting can reach a success rate of 98 to 99 percent. Depending on your climate and the plants you intend to graft, bud grafting can be performed from late July to late September. For bud grafting we use only this year's growth, three or four month old scions which could be recognized by their color. They are usually green, yellow or red, distinct from their older brethren that come in all shades of brown and grey. Appropriate scions should have at least 5mm in diameter or more. Once identified, the shoots must be cut and stripped of their foliage, because through it the necessary moisture is evaporated. Prepared scions can be stored for a few days in appropriate conditions. The second component needed for bud grafting is a rootstock. We can graft our buds even on old trees in order to add different varieties to particular branches. But if the aim is to cultivate brand new seedlings, we use one or two year old rootstocks, like in this case a young apricot tree, which we'll use as rootstock for our future peach. To be able to graft, we'll need a grafting knife and a roll of tape or film. The knife should be extremely sharp and clean. It needn't be a professional one. You can use whatever knife you have. And to attach the bud to a rootstock, we can use any kind of tape. In this case, it's just an ordinary polyethylene shred. The procedure itself is rather simple. We cut off a piece of bark on the chosen rootstock, leaving a niche on the lower part of the cut. After that, we remove the bud from the scion, starting to slice a centimeter above the bud, pass underneath it and cut through the bark two millimeters below the bud. Then, as quickly as possible, we need to slide the bud into the incision on the rootstock and secure the components with our binding material. For the graft to be successful, we need to wrap any exposed parts of the wound. After 14 to 21 days we cut the tape and check if the graft had taken. If not, another bud graft could be performed. Or we can initially make multiple buddings on the same rootstock. In late February of the following year we prune the rootstocks by removing everything that is higher than the grafted bud. We don't want to delay this operation because in March nutrients will spread to the parts of the rootstocks that should be cut anyway. The growth of such seedlings is usually extremely vigorous so that by August we have a 7 foot tall tree. And the year after that we can often taste the fruit that we grew ourselves from start to finish. Thanks for watching, until the next time.